Hello, today we are going to take a look at the unboxing video of a Motorola Ion Radio. We are going to also compare it across other devices that I own and we are going to try to guess what's the quality. This is how it looks like, it just arrived, so let's let me open it. This is the actual package from the Motorola. Let me cover the serial numbers. This is the model number. We've got the UHF and the LTE version for the European market. I purchased it of a German distributor. So we've got the quick start guide, which is not going to be interesting right now. We should go to the main radio and this is how it looks like. This is how look back of the radio. I'm covering the serial number because I have not hooked this radio app to the Motorola account. This is how it looks like. We've got the metal chassis, camera and the LED flashlight. The camera is nicely recessed in the back. Very good. It's not going to be scratching. We've got the nice noise cancelling microphone. On the side we've got the PPT, just like on the other Motorola radios, very nice PPT, give you a positive, very similar to that one to be honest, very nice, I, I enjoy that. We've got the function buttons that most likely you can program via the CPS. The Motorola is nice enough, they allow you to do that. Here is the back and the side port. From what I read, the side port is not compatible with anything that we've got right now on the market, so it has to be a special new, new connector, so you, you would have to buy new speaker mic and the programming cable. Let's take a look at the antenna connector. So this is not a SMA. Let's try to compare it with the Motorola DP34 series. The construction is different. As you can see here the bottom was hollow. Here it looks like it's fully. It's quite interesting. Let's see whether it's going to fit. And from technical point of view, it fits. But I'm pretty sure that it's going to void the UL listing. Because this radio is improved for some environments. We've got the top LCD screen. We've got our channel selector knob. We've got our emergency button. What's that? That looks like a LED indicator. We've got the volume adjustment with a switch. We can see some screws. And this is how it looks like the front. We've got our speaker with uh, some sort of button. Here is the logo and this is how it presents. It presents absolutely great. Let me attach the battery and take a look at the other devices that I've got. That looks like it's going to be a battery. Very nice impress battery. This is how it looks like. Of course it is a impress, impress tool. And you connect the battery from the back and snap into the place. Here we've got the battery release, so if you want to undo then we just do this like that. 
now it start feeling really rugged it start having a good weight what else do we've got in package we've got the side cover this is our dust cover that we can put here if we don't want to use the speaker mic I'm going to of course order the speaker mic here is our antenna that was antenna put in the packaging this is like the OEM version from what Motorola say in their advertise it should be more flexible and we are going to compare that so let me let me screw it here is the back of the antenna if you would be interested the UL listing is not ATX approved it is something different and yeah I think it is more flexible here is the radio and the common problem was that the antenna were bending as you can see it is already bent but I saw the radio that was completely cracked here so that one is definitely better in form of bending the plastic is less hard I would say the length is almost the same and this is how it presenting here is with the long one so you can clearly see the difference but in compared to the stubby very very similar let's see what else do we get we've got the carrying holster we've got the instruction so looks like we can carry it with screen facing our body very good I really enjoy that let's open it this is how it present here we've got the model number if you would be interested and with the screen facing your body okay so here we've got the clip that are going to large and looks like we are using the battery slot for a charger to slot it nicely like this and it's snap and it looks very good this is a very solid connection toward your body I think I like that idea and let's see how to release it I would assume that we have to pull that and it it go really nicely this is a good idea I enjoy it I can tell you right now that it is smart and when you are going to pull that your radio is not going to fall because it's still clipped so it's very smart it's very smart design very good I like the clip and looks like it's like a standard Motorola clip so I'm pretty sure that you can remove it and yes if something go wrong we can replace just the clip but I never had any any problems with that okay so it looks nice what else do we get we've got the European charger this is the model number if you would be interested for example in getting a spare one and did I didn't I see Poland yes we've got a Poland I buy this from a German distributor here we've got a single unit drop charger and let's take a look at it yeah it looks 
absolutely great. Looks like we've got the recalibration. That's a quite interesting, so it will work just like a regular impress battery and while, once for a while it will do the reconditioning. Very good. Yeah, it feels good. And let's drop it. Yeah, it's very nice. It's very nice. Yeah, that's a, that's a good charger. Let's compare it across devices that I want to that I want to basically replace. So that was my daily driver radio that I was using for contacting the dispatch. That's the reason why I do I do not have any screen because I do not need it. I work only on the single channel and on the data mode. So that was what I need to carry. And if we are going to compare it, yeah, it is not that very smaller. And that was a compact radio. We've got the extended battery, but this is the sizing. But I was also carrying this unit as my data terminal. This is how it looks like. So here we can compare. And with those two devices, then we are actually making some improvement. Let's compare it to the box chip S700. So the sizing is pretty similar. This is how it looks like. The box chip was also using the side connector, but as you can see, it didn't end very well. So yeah, this is the, the quick look. As you can see, we've got uh, almost 20 minutes and I didn't even power it on. So I'm going to record the next video. But for today, I'm very happy. I'm impressed with the build quality. Like with everything from Motorola, you can feel that this is not uh, cheap plastic. And you can actually see that yeah, this plastic has like a different build. That one was chipping off and cracking. And they are, they've got some different compound. They've got something bad in their technological progress because it's just chipping off on the Motorola radios, like even on the old units, like here you've got the prime example. You are bumping this radio and you can see that the plastic even like almost is touching the PDT key, but it's not chipping off. The plastic is still there. If you've got any problem, you... I was fixing those radios by using exacto knife and cutting the plastic that was bumping on the PTT. That was just a quick tip for you. If you've got a problem with radio that is not working with the PTT, first start from doing that. But that plastic is good. It's not going to chip. So I make assumption that it's going to be exactly the same because it feels exactly the same. So yeah, I hope I'm going to be happy. Stay tuned for upcoming video from a programming and from doing some actual test. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you find that interesting. See you next time and bye bye.